Fiesta at home just in time for Cinco de Mayo. KCRA 3's Deirdre Fitzpatrick has the easy ways to throw the perfect taco party. There is nothing better than street tacos. The nice thing is that you can actually duplicate what everybody loves out on the street at home. And Patty Mastraco from Raley's has the simple tips to make it all work. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Oh, thanks for having me. Thank I love that. tacos. The nice thing is that if you're having a lot of people over, it's easy because you put everything out and then people kind of add on to yeah, it and then, do it in their own time. Yeah, everybody's happy. Everybody makes what they want. And, you know, you can also ask everybody to bring a filling. So then you get all this fun variety. It's, a, it's like a, a really good potluck. It's an awesome potluck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with some of the basic things you've got. Okay. Different meats. Different meats. So uh, this one is one of my favorites. It's a cocoa chili pork, and it's uh, coated with chili powder and cinnamon and unsweetened cocoa powder, and then cooked for like four hours till it's just real shredded. Do you do slow cooker on that? You can. I did it in the oven because what I did is I started it covered so that it steamed and got really tender, and then I took the lid off and cranked the oven up at the oh, last okay. minute so it gets kind of crusty on the outside. Awesome. So you yep. get a little different texture. And then yep. beef. And then this is beef. I use skirt steak, which is nice because it's really thin and it cooks fast. And it's easy to put on the grill and real tender. So Pretty I just affordable too. Yeah, so you're be feeding a yeah. lot of people. I just grilled it, and then it's real easy to just chop up in little pieces, so you don't get big pieces in your in your taco. Okay, great. Nice. So if you're having you know the big bar set up and you're yeah. having people over, if you set up little stations, people can come and make their own. Exactly, and some can be you know you can keep your fillings hot, or you can uh, have that sort of cook your own. And I'm going to walk you through one of my okay. absolute favorite recipes. This is a taco that we go and have in Mexico all the time. This ah. place is a little dive place, and there's always a line. Around around the block. So That's how you know it's good. It is and everything's so the same. So what kind of cheese did you so start this with? This is jack cheese. So you start with a flour tortilla and a big slab of jack cheese. I mean they they really layer on just the, the big pieces of jack cheese and then you have the beef and then they put on a spoonful of pinto beans that are just a little bit seasoned. And then here's their trick. They grill jalapenos till they're really nice and charred. And then they put a little squeeze of lime juice and a little pinch of salt. So does the grilling bring something out different you know, than jalapenos? It just gives it all this body and flavor. And it, the, it takes some of the heat out. Um, and it's, it's just fantastic. I, don't, I think it's just a, the char and the flavor of the lime and salt. And then they're always finished off with a ton of guacamole. And I'm telling you, this is like. You want to order one to be good, and you end up eating three because they're sort of like, I'll just have <laughs> and then one you have more. Come on vacation. I know exactly. Yeah, so that is yeah my absolute favorite taco recipe, and that's at so Rayleigh's.com. You, you did jack cheese. What are mm -hmm. the other cheeses that are really good too, or maybe you know, other things maybe to leave out? You can use a queso fresco, but it's not going to melt as well. No. That's that's what I've used on the beans here. It's a nice crumbly cheese. That or cotija. Um, they both have a um, a mild flavor. The cotija has a little bit sharper flavor, but they're really they're really nice. Okay, and, and then when when cooking with tortillas, you brought uh, the corn and the flour. Do they uh -huh. cook very differently when you're making these? I think they're pretty much the same. Yeah, you know, we were talking about who likes what, and people you know, like one or the other. They like one or the other. I love the flavor of corn. I love the texture of a of a grilled um, flour tortilla yeah, when it gets kind of crunchy on the outside, and yeah, sort of soft still on the inside. All right, so. pair it with the margarita. It's a pretty good night. There you go. Yeah, yeah, right. or a Corona. Patty, so. thanks. Thanks. And so we'll much. be back with more right after this.